You may have heard the term insulin resistance thrown about, but if you don't know what it is or what causes it, this video is for you. Hey there, welcome back to the Natural Diabetes Reversal channel. I'm your host, Dr. Nicole, and this is your go-to channel for all things related to type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes and how to reverse them naturally. If you don't already know, insulin is the hormone released by your pancreas that helps shuttle glucose into the cells. When you eat carbohydrates, they're broken down by your digestive system into sugar or glucose. The presence of glucose sends a signal to your pancreas saying, hey, release insulin so we can get this sugar out of your bloodstream and into your cells where we can use it to make energy or store it as glycogen, which is the storage form of glucose. And then once we've filled our glycogen stores, we'll turn the leftover glucose into triglycerides or fat. Your body tries to keep your blood glucose level in a very tight range. So when it begins to increase, your body responds by releasing insulin. Insulin resistance develops when you have too much glucose flooding into your system for too long. When you're eating high carb meals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, along with high carb snacks and sugary drinks, over time, the pancreas has to kick out more and more insulin to keep up with the amount of glucose in the body. When there's too much insulin in the bloodstream, we call it hyperinsulinemia. Eventually, the cells become maxed out with how much glucose they can process, and they become resistant to the insulin signal. The cells are like, no, we can't take in any more glucose, we're full up. That's when you see blood sugar levels start to rise on a blood test. So ultimately, the root cause of insulin resistance is hyperinsulinemia from excessive carbohydrate consumption over time. Insulin resistance, as you may or may not know, develops before prediabetes or diabetes. So it's the precursor to those conditions. The good news is that it can be reversed. You can reverse insulin resistance with lifestyle. And knowing what causes insulin resistance in the first place, excessive carbohydrate intake, it's probably easy to see that reducing carbs is a great starting point for reversing it. The best place to start is by eliminating junk carbs. So we're talking processed sugars and refined grains that you find in processed foods like pastas, breads, pastries, candy, cookies, soda, and other sugar-sweetened beverages. Replace those with high fiber carbs, quality protein, and healthy fats. Moving your body also plays a major role in turning things around, reducing the development of type 2 diabetes by 30 to 50%. And it doesn't have to be a long, sweaty workout to make a difference. Light intensity walking for just 10 to 15 minutes after meals significantly improves blood sugar control. So having insulin resistance is not a life sentence doomed for diabetes. You can begin to turn insulin resistance around with easy steps like reducing junk carbs and walking after meals. Hey, if you found this information helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more information on type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes and how to reverse them naturally. I'll see you next time.